Action News, live at 4.30. Now an Action News update, the effort to get a stop sign installed at what some call a dangerous intersection in Fresno County. Fowler and Perrin, just north of Clovis, has been the location of two deadly crashes over the past month and a half. Welcome back and thanks for joining us for Action News Live at 4.30. I'm Dale Yarong. And I'm Graciela Moreno. Action News anchor Nick Garcia is live at that intersection with a dad's determination and the county's progress. Nick. Well, Dale Graciela, Fowler is just to the right of me. Perrin Road is just ahead. You can see before you get to that intersection, the county has installed that speed tracking device. Speed limits posted 45. There's also an indicator below the sign letting drivers know how fast they're going and when to slow down. It's been just over a month since William Lazo lost his son Sandro, who was hit and killed by a pickup truck while riding his bike on Perrin Road at Fowler Avenue in Fresno County. Yesterday, I picked up my son's ashes, and I assure you, that is a task and a feeling none of you want to be familiar with. He spoke before the Fresno County Board of Supervisors Tuesday morning, continuing to advocate for changes to the road. I am convinced that if there were a stop sign at that location, my son would still be alive today. The crash that killed Sandro happened just over a week after a pedestrian, 25-year-old Caden Bailey, was hit and killed by a minivan in the same area. Our heart breaks for the just the tragic loss that's happened, but I can tell you that uh, the county is working very closely with the city of Clovis to make sure that that whole area is as safe as possible. This new sign shows the posted speed limit on Fowler Avenue and reminds drivers to slow down ahead of Perrin Road. In the next few weeks, the county will begin a traffic study, which will start with a device that will count the number of cars regularly using the road. We're taking a look to see if uh, a another stop sign is warranted at Perrin. And again, without the analysis of uh, traffic counts, we're not going to be able to know um, if, if those warrants are going to be met. In the meantime, Lazo says he'll be keeping a close eye on the progress, working to ensure the tragedy he's experienced doesn't happen to another family. Stop for Sandro. Stop for Sandro. Stop for Sandro. MAGSIC says they're also waiting on the full detailed crash reports from the California Highway Patrol for both of those incidents. That could also play into determining if there will be a new stop sign added at that intersection. Live in Fresno County, I'm Nick Garcia, ABC 30 Action News. Hey, Central California, stay up to date with all the latest news and weather. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to ABC 30 Action News.